drop it. A common class of chemicals that's been linked to cancer, fertility problems, and thyroid dysfunction has now been tied to another major health issue, according to a new study in Plos Medicine, women who have high levels of perfluorocal substances, PFAS, in their blood tend to gain back more unwanted weight after dieting. The new study included both men and women who'd been enrolled in a two-year clinical trial and who lost weight by following a heart-healthy diet. But when researchers factored in the levels of fuzz in participants' blood at the start of the study, they found that people with high levels tended to gain more of that weight back after initially losing it. The association was found almost exclusively in women, and the researchers say that fizz effects on estrogen in the body may be one reason why. But the study also found that people with high fizz concentrations had lower resting metabolic rates, in other words, their metabolism was slower and they burned fewer calories doing daily activities. The researchers concluded that fizz may play a role in body weight regulation, and therefore in the country's current obesity epidemic. We all know it's feasible to lose weight through diet or physical activity, however the challenging part is that almost no one can maintain that weight loss, says senior study Chi Sun, assistant professor in the Department of Nutrition at Harvard T. H. Chan School of Public Health. Now we've shown that his level may actually determine how much weight people regain.